So this is an IT video, but it's not related to what we do normally on our channel. This is about the Wi-Fi and what's happening, uh, you know, uh, what's going on. So a lot of people, they're working from home and I work, I work at the internet company. So what most of the calls or maybe more than 70% calls are now, hey, uh, my kids are at home, I'm working from home, and we are all at home, we're streaming and this, and our internet is slow, or can you check our speed, or we are paying for 100, we're not getting 100, so it's a lot of that same repetition that I have to do, or we all have to do, and there's a lot of misconceptions, some people simply tell us, I don't think so, well, you don't think so is not <laughs> a good uh, way of uh, solving your problem, you have a problem you have a problem and if you want to resolve it or you just want to argue it's really up to you <clears throat> so when people say that we don't argue for example we um like a, a gentleman told me right uh, let's get a uh, keep uh, customer stories out of it uh, this video is to really uh, give you knowledge of this uh, about wi-fi and all that and those of lucky one of you who will watch this video uh, will be happy or glad that you watched and then you um, made this investment and the earlier the better because this is a comparison of side by side of uh, two listings if i can show you notice the one on the right if i go by keep going on the on the left side you see the prime sign on all of the listings on the right side there is no prime sign so what happened was that uh, everybody was working from home and everybody needed webcams and i just went there to see because comtia is uh, going to soon <coughs> start the testing from home so i was seeing a uh, this there is a webcam available or not everything is sold out so before the same thing happens with routers and all these companies are either sold out or they raise the price at so <clears throat> first thing first you see this is the standard router this is pretty standard it uses about i'm told that 12 volts i'm not sure if it's true or not uh, but somebody like who worked uh, more than me he told me that this works uses 12 volt the standalone uses more energy 24 volt he said and <clears throat> They are better. I um, have been using Wi-Fi routers for 15 years. I always use the standalone one. I don't go with the generic ones like this because <clears throat> I like more control. And then I've, uh, uh, you know, I can do all the settings and take care. Especially with this one, uh, the real, the advanced one that that being rolled out, uh, we have a lot more information about device the. Uh, signal strands and all that so we, we can actually see if a device is uh, having issues with the Wi-Fi or not so that one is good for our purpose but for customer standpoint you probably are better off with a third party like at my home I use a third party router I normally go my personal favorite is three Linksys but uh, uh, in this video <clears throat> I'm gonna show you a few I can show you the one that I've used but uh, <clears throat> I will strongly suggest going with a mesh network. So if you notice on this week, uh, right here, I searched for router and Amazon showed, for the first thing they are showing is mesh. Eero, yes, it's there, they, they bought this, so obviously they can put it on the top, but this one is really good. I have not used it, I but I have heard it's good. <clears throat> then notice these giant ones, there's this about this, this is a new company, but it's 35, I will not recommend buying if at this point you are making an investment and everybody's at home and we don't know how long the situation is going to last i will not go buy just this one if your work depends on it go with one of these mesh networks my personal favorite uh, router is uh, like you can see there are different prices i will never buy a netgear never do not buy a netgear I, I work with, uh, with people all the time every day I'm taking 40 or plus calls Netgear is not a good router and it's not an easy one to configure 
50 50 chance that you will have a router that will not connect to wi uh, internet no matter what and we will be telling you yeah your modem is online good luck call net gear so the one that i really like the routers that is from linksys they are not listed here maybe they are sold out i don't know so but it's just like showing you maybe that had some people sometime i joke with people that netgear probably has more money for advertisement but they are not really good how but the situation is this bad that the, even their mesh network that is orbi is known to have problems right now with all of the streaming service like amazon uh, prime hulu netflix youtube anything it's not just with one that's how bad it is <clears throat> second if you can see yeah that's the orbi do not buy this one period do not buy netgear orbi i have nothing against them it's not uh, I've, I've never bought them and i have not and like i don't have a bitter experience with them so i'm talking so negatively it's just my experience with my customers and i know how tr uh, troublesome it was and then it's a known uh, issue on our end like our company knows that RB is having issues with the, all the streaming services so that's why it's an honest opinion so <clears throat> next you see there are multiple like bunch of uh, these mesh network every company is coming up with one you can see here it's yeah this is RB I wanted to show you a clear picture do not buy this one again clear picture do not buy this one so let's close these windows you can buy Eero, it's Amazon, it's a, like for three devices, it's a, if I click on here, it's going to say $200, <coughs> right there, $200. So, my if um, I will go with the, the square footage in your home, like how, <coughs> and the number of users you have. Uh, the first thing first, if you have a gamer, any child, PS4, Xbox, do not let them play on the Wi-Fi. They will bring down the whole network period yes so they have to have the use the ethernet cable run a cable and you know have them connect through it if it is not possible then limit their playing to a time when then when you are not doing your work that gonna put the food on the table that is your uh, you know work related so make them aware that they're not uh, allowed during the daytime after five six of they can do their gaming and obviously they, they're gonna cry but you know there's nothing we can do we can <laughs> uh, it's wi-fi there's nothing you can do the mesh network is very powerful it will be able to handle it for most part so <clears throat> this is the three pack 199 uh, my personal favorite router so it's like the square footage of your home if you have a <clears throat> home that's uh, I will say let's say about 1100 square feet then yeah go with any of the router my personal favorite is usually this company they have a, uh, a mesh uh, network as well it's called Velop. yeah oh, right there it's actually and you see uh, there is if you s check these listings you see that there is no prime prime logo here this one has logo what's happened is that all of those routers they are sold out my personal favorite is this one i you i'm using this one uh, you see it's 240 dollars but i did not buy it for that i bought it real cheap it was a i believe it was about 50 bucks but and that was about two years ago uh, i bought it as refurbished i i'm not a big fan of wi-fi i do not need it i just keep it for bare minimum like uh, for cell phones and you know if for guests i don't use it uh in my home if it gives you the motivation i ran two ethernet cables uh to two different rooms one is 100 feet long cable the other one is 50 feet long cable i am a big fan of ethernet and i will stick to ethernet uh as long as i uh i'm working with computers <coughs> so my um this is the router that I was talking about you can go uh, see if there is a refurbished one uh, or if it's you know I, I will not spend $240 on this router if I can spend $200 and get a mesh network I will never do that uh, the reason I bought this one back in the day was this uh, Linksys has two things they all all black ones they you cannot uh, 
modify them meaning you cannot have a custom um, uh, operating system on them i customize this uh, routers uh, i install my own firmware on this router so i can monitor my bandwidth usage and all that so that's why and like i said i bought it for 50 dollars. it was not 250 i will never do that <clears throat> now if we come here this is the one that i normally recommends the reason again is not that i'm a big fan of google and you know i'm a fanboy kind of thing no the ease of setup the google uh, mesh is the easiest one to set up it almost all of the, all of them they come with an app that guides you but google the beauty of the google uh, mesh is uh, it does not require much input from user it does most of the things automatically and it's less uh, the least input required from the user so that's make it perfect for everybody if somebody is more advanced they can actually see more settings or they can if if they're like me and they they can go and buy uh, something that gives them more options like uh, well up or there was another i don't remember i don't want to waste time on thinking about that so that now this one is first gen you right now you can buy from best buy and you know bed bath and beyond i don't know why they are selling but for some reason if you go to official website it says first gen right here and they are selling just one device they're not selling the three pack i really like the three pack basically you get to strategically place them around your home and i'm talking about a household that is more than 1100 square feet or multi-story if you are if you are a multi-story doesn't mean, matter if it's just a basement and the ground floor or more go with mesh <clears throat> so the reason that it has become first gen is if you see i just found it before making this video i'm very excited and i will strongly recommend it to anybody who has the dough to buy this <laughs> sorry to use that term, but yes definitely it's like um i i get calls where people have 18 devices connected and they're complaining about wi-fi and i'm like there's nothing to complain about think of it as a your lawn sprinkler outside it's ta it takes turns you cannot compare a lawn sprinkler to your kitchen faucet same is true for wi-fi it's taking turns it's not uh, and this Wi-Fi, the signal is not like it comes out and says, hey, where is Jack's phone? I'm going to go straight to that phone. No, it's in a, it's bounce around in your home. And each time it's going through walls, stuff, furniture, it's uh, degrading. And all the Wi-Fi signals when you pop, uh, when you check on your phone and you see 10 signal, what do you think that, the, why they are in your home? They are your neighbors and they are in your home they not to show up on your phone they are actually distorting your signals as well and everybody all those signals they're just dist uh, distorting each other so there is come uh, it's a degrad uh, degrading process for all of those and then there is more advanced thing that uh, <clears throat> you don't have to worry but if you're really advanced you can analyze you can install an app on your uh, phone that is ssi insider or it's called insider or wi-fi analyzer search your uh, st uh, you know app store download and it can show you how many signals are there what most of the people in your area are using those signals and then you can take it from there you can you know if you know how to do the settings if you don't go with this one these are um, almost all of them do it automatically but these are supposed to be smart so they can detect and change it like much more efficiently than the older just the router routers because so with the mesh you can see this one pack it covers up to 2200 square feet this one two pack covers 3800 square feet and it's like uh, this one covers up to 5400 square feet most of the time that the one more thing i have to um explain to my customers is that these speeds are advertising material they don't normally reflect the real world and they are in controlled lab environment you know so 
your situation can be different. For example, try uh, it in your uh, kitchen. Now, kitchen has all the Wi-Fi killer devices in there. All those shiny surfaces, those appliances, and good luck. That's a, when when somebody mentions that hey, I, uh, yeah, I do my work, uh, you know, work in my kitchen. I was like, yeah, okay, <laughs> that's your problem. And they, they they acknowledge that yeah, when I'm in the living room, it's fine, and when I'm uh, here, it's not. So there you go. So like I said, if it's a three-story house, go with three bag. Put them in each level and you'll be glad you did if you don't and again like i said that you can go with the square footage of your home but it does uh, make a big difference what is the structure of your house if it's a brick house or if it's like open log cabin they are two different things wi-fi will act differently in both of them the same exact same devices yeah so you have to consider all of them but go with mesh and I've shown you, I've shown you in the router as well, that router is sold out. So do it as soon as you can before either they disappear and there's a premium that you don't want to pay. Because, yes, you can call your cable company a hundred times. That's not going to solve the problem. And we are backed up. The whole day we had 600 calls. So what do you think that 600 calls, if it's whole day, we're taking care of calls, more is coming in. So what happened after 9, 10, 11 o'clock? You think that those calls will magically disappear? No. You're in the queue and you your number will come maybe next day. And you, in the meantime, it was just a matter of uh, uh, your Wi-Fi router. And again, yes, some people call and say, hey, it's your router. Well, you are trying to have a coupe. And... Uh, you have a coupe and you're trying to fit your whole family of 12 people in that. That's not going to happen. You have to upgrade to um, a minivan at least. So if that uh, makes sense to you, uh, go for it. If not, <laughs> um, uh, let's just say good luck. Thank you for watching this video. If this has helped you, please recommend it to somebody else who is suffering with the Wi-Fi issues at their home. And hopefully... It will help them and uh, I am 100% behind this video I know for, for a fact all right thank you for choosing well, thank you for watching uh, this video and you have a great day and if you can subscribe <laughs>